welcome back to my channel my crystal kings and queens thank you so much for joining me so today i'm doing a video on crystal christmas gift giving ideas as you have read the title is crystal christmas stocking stuffers so they're just simple little you know crystals that you can find in your local metaphysical shop online whichever that best suits you for your convenience I felt like this would be a, I want to say really huge at the same time, like one word, I don't really know what kind of word that was about to be, but an extremely um, helpful video because um, I wasn't able to find many videos on crystal gift giving ideas, especially not for the holiday time. Christmas in specific was what I was looking for. So. I think this will be very helpful for a lot of you who are like me and, you know, are just trying to figure out, well, what crystals can I give, you know, to a loved one that would best represent the Christmas spirit. So I've chosen a few crystals that I felt like carry the properties of love, healing, peace, joy, happiness, just that holiday cheer, you know, so... I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Let me know what you think about it. I'm really thinking about making this a thing for my channel, like um, Christmas, I'm sorry, not Christmas, but like um, crystal holiday or season ideas, um, whatever kind of title I'll come up with, but um, just crystals that would I guess correlate to specific holidays or seasons winter spring summer fall all of that great stuff or you know christmas halloween thanksgiving you know valentine's day like that kind of thing so let me know if either you've seen videos like that or if you'd like to see you know that type of video on my channel i am all for feedback i really really appreciate it so just let me know and we'll go from there anyway thank you so much for hanging out with me you know sticking by me and subscribing so for those of you who are new welcome those of you who have been here i am grateful for you so um also just please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you are new to my channel this is the royal labyrinth i hope you guys truly enjoy and um, again, if you'd like to just see what ideas I have as far as crystal Christmas gift giving ideas, then stick around. Also, um, if you keep hearing the jingle, it's my bracelet. It was like a dollar at Michael's. So yeah, awesome, awesome. I love it. So uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video just as much as I enjoy putting it together. It was a bit of a challenge, but I was extremely determined to get this out here for you guys. So enjoy. One of the first things that I would love to see in a crystal stocking, me personally, uh, would be either Palo Santo or Sage. So here is a piece of Palo Santo. They sell them in bags, but for this specific video, I only needed one stick, so I just figured I'd buy one. And I think this ran about like $2 or so, if I'm not mistaken. Now, here is a thing of sage. I will be very honest, I generally do not use sage. Um, I think it has a weed smell to it and I am not too fond of that smell. Like I really just don't like it. But I mean, there are some people who, you know, like the smell and prefer sage over Palo Santo or just running their crystals through incense. But you know, I'm not, you know, bashing anyone who chooses to use either or, it's totally up to you. Here we have sandalwood incense. Now I absolutely love incense and this 
set um, that I purchased. I think it was about $3 or so, but it smells so much like a crystal shop or a metaphysical shop. I can't get enough of it. Now I do know that some sandalwood scents are a lot stronger than others. So I didn't really, you know, used to prefer it, but for whatever reason, this box from my local metaphysical shop that I got it from just smells really great and it's a great gift. The first stone that you could put in your stocking or your crystal stocking that is, would be or could be <laughs> terminated quartz. This is a very different looking stone to me. I definitely don't believe that I own an actual piece of black tourmaline, but I do own clear quartz and just quartz in general. Um, I think this is a really good stone to have in your stocking because it represents focus. And around this time of the year, people are focused on making it home in time enough for the holidays, buying gifts, wrapping them of course, and just being able to be with the ones that they love. The second stone that you could add to your crystal stocking, I'm pretty sure I am going to butcher the crap out of this name, but I, it may be Girasol Quartz. I'm not sure, so you know, correct me if I'm wrong, I definitely don't mind. This stone though represents hope and thoughtfulness and to be, you know, in this holiday season, it is just the most important that we give hope to one another. It's, it's just absolutely necessary and one of the best feelings that we can ask for. The third stone is selenite. Now, if you can see this, then you already know why I chose this. But selenite represents positivity. And I believe alongside of hope, this is also a very important quality to have when it comes to this time of the year. It's important that we remain positive, you know, help bring each other up when we're feeling a bit down. Some people may be spending this year by themselves or just maybe without loved ones overall and we just want to make sure that we're uplifting each other. The fourth stone is white agate. Now I think this crystal or stone is great for your crystal stocking because it represents purification and balance. Now Christmas I believe brings out the pure heart of each person. I believe we see people in their truest form, you know, more willing to give, more kindness being shown, more grace. And, you know, I think it's just important that we remain aware and acknowledge that. The fifth stone that I would like to include in a crystal stocking would be smoky quartz. Now we generally know smoky quartz as a grounding stone because it definitely is, but it is also a stone that represents strength and stability and that's a really great quality of Christmas. Everyone wants to make sure that they're well taken care of stable in their home, they have family to go to, and just to know that they're loved. Stone number six is Howlite. Now this is a rough and or raw form of Howlite. I chose this because it not only just gives me that Christmassy feel, but it reflects insightfulness and calming energies. And I believe that that definitely just represents the Christmas atmosphere. Being able to relax with your family 
and enjoy each other. Stone number seven is Mukite. It is a form of Jasper. I don't normally get Jasper, but I was led to this one in specific. Um, I wasn't sure why until I actually read, you know, what it stood for. And it stands for, you know, intuition and um, clarity. And I feel like people in the Christmas spirit, you know, their drive is for clarity to know what it is to expect for their upcoming new year. My eighth stone <laughs> is jet. Now, jet is fossilized charcoal. So who doesn't need a little bit of coal in their stocking, you know? <laughs> um, I just thought it was a poetic gesture, just something cute to include. Now jet is a protection stone and it's just important that we always remain, you know, cautious of our surroundings, you know, what's happening within our own atmosphere. So jet is one of those stones that, you know, can help, you know, you feel secure. Stone number nine is ruby zoisite. I may be pronouncing that wrong, so if I am, please do not hesitate to correct me. This is an extremely unique looking stone. Now, the ruby zoisite promotes happiness and growth. And who can do without holiday cheer? So I definitely think that this is a worth it stone. Crystal number 10, the clear quartz. Now we all know that clear quartz is the ultimate healing stone. It is also one of the most universal stones. You can set it to whatever intention you ever have. Program it to whatever energy you need it, you need it to be programmed to. This stone is Christmas. It looks like Christmas. It feels like Christmas. It's one of my favorite crystals. Now, I also have a clear quartz cluster. This is my first small clear quartz cluster of the many that I have. And I just thought this was so beautiful when I saw it. It reminds me of ice, that wonderful Christmas feel, the snow, the sparkle. It's so pretty. I love this. Stone number 11 is the Bloodstone. This stone, in my opinion, just absolutely best represents the spirit of Christmas. This stone represents our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that was born around this time. And it also represents new beginnings. So for those who are just try trying to uh, start anew, do something different, you know, wanting to better themselves, their lives, their environment around them. This stone is perfect for you. Of course, what is Christmas without a hint of gold? So this is pyrite and pyrite is believed to carry the traits of warmth and vitality. Now to me, this kind of reminds me of like a really cold starry night, you know, sitting at home all cozy under a blanket, sipping hot cocoa in front of a warm fireplace. 
maybe with a little snow outside. I think this is so beautiful. Stone number 13 is the strawberry quartz. I feel like this stone just totally gets Christmas. And the deep red that we get to see around this time of the year alongside of that pure white that we could find in a clear quartz. Now the strawberry quartz magnifies universal love and brings attention to um, understanding one's true purpose. This is a really beautiful stone. Stone number 14 that we have to put in the crystal stocking is Rainbow Moonstone. This stone is so gorgeous. Now this stone is for all of the lovers out there. And this is perfect for this time of the year because it is a stone that enhances passion. And for those of you who consider this to be a cuffing season, um, this stone would be a perfect gift for your mate or partner. Stone number 15 is the cherry quartz. Now this is my first ever owned cherry quartz and I just think it's so pretty. The rainbow, like that one rainbow on the inside of it just magnifies this stone. So cherry quartz is used to help aid in great health and restoration. So for those of you who are looking to set New Year's resolutions for getting healthy, exercising, eating properly, this stone would be a great assistant. Crystal number 16 that you could add to your crystal stocking is the turquoise aura quartz. This crystal is so breathtaking. It signifies beauty and joy. And for the holidays, it's important that we do everything that we can to remain joyful, to spread positivity, to, to give light to each other, motivation. We are here to you know, represent our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and all the wonderful characteristics He's placed within us. This is another form of the Aura Quartz, and this is actually Flame Aura Quartz. And the magic scene within this crystal is beyond imagining. The shimmers, the glisten, it, it just speaks magic in the air. I absolutely love this crystal because it magnifies optimism and communication. It forces us to be open with one another, to, to show our true self, to be honest with each other. But optimism is the best quality because then that in itself allows you to stay focused on just simply being positive, wanting more for yourself, better for not only you, but for those around you. Crystal number 18 is the Spirit Quartz. Now, I really enjoy this crystal because it just reminds me of like a magical waterfall. Maybe something that the fairies would hang around in or something, I'm not sure. But um, the Spirit Quartz represents or signifies imagination and wisdom. And I thought that this crystal would be a really fun crystal to add into your crystal stocking because 
who doesn't like you know little fun items though all of the crystals are really great and easy to enjoy i just thought this was a really beautiful piece to add crystal number 19 is the white chalcedony geode i chose this crystal to include in the crystal stocking because it just gives me the christmas energy i feel like this is probably what i would see if I were in the North Pole, all the ice that would surround the North Pole or maybe ice that would surround a mountain. It's just so white and pure. It's beautiful. Now the Chalcedony Geode, it is a nurturing crystal and it promotes goodwill. Crystal number 20 is the Lemurian Quartz. This crystal is so gorgeous. I love it. So this crystal is a connection crystal. And for the Christmas time, it just helps to remind us that we are all connected. We are all equal. No one person is greater or better than the other. We're all in this together. So I figured that this would be a really awesome stone to include in the crystal bag. Crystal number 21 that you could include in your crystal stocking is chlorite quartz. Now this is a very cute and small crystal to place in your stocking. I chose this crystal because this crystal, it helps one to make themselves more aware of what his or her heart needs so you know trying to figure out what your goals are in life where you want to be you know where to find love all of that you know requires you to look deeper within yourself to be able to find truth within yourself so you know and have an understanding of what you you know are to really receive later on in life also this crystal it improves the ability to express love which is always highly important now what's a Christmas without garnet so garnet is our stone number 22 garnet enhances joy it brings truth it promotes faith as well passion i thought this was a very beautiful stone to include in the crystal stocking because it carries so many beautiful qualities so many qualities that just already represent the holidays or christmas Crystal number 23 is Rhodonite. I really adore this stone because it's so gentle. It's a very subtle stone. The gray and pink that it includes, it just reminds me of a newborn baby. Now, Rhodonite signifies compassion and forgiveness. And those two traits are highly important, just as many of them are but it's important that we learn to release you know unhealthy thoughts unhealthy habits release those things that we feel are hurting us but you also upon release have to forgive those that have hurt you you have to forgive yourself you have to be able to understand that as life goes on, you're continuously learning more things about yourself and the atmosphere that you are within. It's important to also show compassion, be kind to even those things or people that may have caused you pain or hurt. Stone number 24 that you could include in your crystal stocking is 
blue gold stone. This stone is gorgeous. It reminds me of the starry nights, especially the deep, dark and blue starry nights that you see on Christmas night. I chose this stone because this stone helps to remind us that we can do the impossible. We can reach for the stars. We have no limits. There are no limits to what we can do. We are our greatest accomplishments. I've also heard the saying that if your dream doesn't scare you, then maybe you're not dreaming big enough. This is a really great stone to add. Crystal number 25, the last crystal that concludes my 25 crystals of Christmas. It is the Herkimer Diamond. This is just so beautiful and though I know it does not compare to a natural diamond, I, I'm the kind of girl that will take either or. I absolutely love Herkimer Diamond. It shines, it radiates, it's beautiful. It's a stunning crystal. Now, the Herkimer Diamond best represents soft energy. It gives off that gentleness, the subtlety of life. It helps us to remain calm and focused. It's just something, you know, to include in your daily life. Also, it promotes or enhances thoughts of love and well-being which I find important as well. 